Hi everybody, this is Jeff, and uh, we're going to be talking today about how to use EBSCO to get a business profile to help you write a business paper. Okay, so we're going to go here, academics, from the front, front range homepage, frontrange.edu, academics, then to libraries. Then we're going to scroll down here just a bit, Boulder County Campus. And then we're going to go into EBSCO, but we're going to use a little different area of EBSCO than is, than is used in regular academic classes. Usually you would go into EBSCO host web, but today we're going to go into business searching interface because we can get some specialized type of business information that we can't get through regular EBSCO host web. So in the business searching interface. Now the business searching interface, you can do regular article searches here just like you would in regular EBSCO. So it'll search just business publications. It's just going to look for business articles. Uh, let's say we can put in here Nike and the title of the company or just the, in the title of the article. We could do a search here. So this is kind of the basic way how to use this. And then any one of these articles that come up, you can access. Let's say you just want articles from trade publications. You could click there. Open up any one of these. Just kind of tells you a little bit about the article. If you don't see the full article, click on PDF full text, and then it'll download the full article for you. Which, once this downloads, uh, you, can, you could print it out right there. Or you could save it somewhere, you could email it to yourself, or you could add it to a folder within the database and come back to it later. I'm going to go back home though, show you some other features of this. That's kind of the, the basic way to use Business Source Premier, which is another name for the business searching interface in EBSCO. But I'm going to show you uh, my favorite aspect of this database is the company profile section. So over here underneath the browse section, we're going to go down to company profiles right there. So once again, I went over to browse and then company profiles. And this is just going to give me a lot of great information about a company all in one place. And if you were going to do a profile of a business, I think this would help you. Now in this, in the EBSCO business searching database, they only profile really large companies. Okay, so just keep that in mind. There will be another presentation online here on how to use a different database called Reference USA that can look up smaller companies. But this one's only going to look up big, big companies. So let's look up a company here. I'm going to look up Apple. So there's Apple there. If I wanted to know more about it, I could I could click into this, into Apple, take a look, tell so I know that we're talking about the right Apple here. See, we're talking about PCs, iPods, all that. Okay, that's right. This is the right company. Then I'm going to click the data monitor report. And this is going to give me the full report on this company. So when this downloads, We've got a 33-page report on this company, and we've got a nice table of contents over here that will allow you to quickly scroll through it. I click on Company Overview, get a quick company overview here, how much money they're making, key facts about the company, just basic information, business description, this is all the things they're involved with business-wise. What's the history of the company? Founded or was incorporated in 1977. These were the founders. Okay. The Apple one was a fail. You're getting a lot of kind of neat facts just all in one place here. Key employees. Who are the key people with this company? You can see their even see their compensations. At the time this report was out, uh, Steve Jobs was the CEO, and his salary was one dollar a year. That's interesting. I don't know if you can hear this right now, but there's a train going by outside my window. You might hear a train whistle here. This is something I have to deal with. <laughs> okay, key employee biographies. At least I have a window. It's nice. Uh, but anyway, so hopefully that train won't be too loud. So here are the key employee biographies. Gives you a quick quick uh, background of each of these people who were there. Major products and services. This is what this company is offering right now. Revenue analysis. What's going on money-wise with this company. This is really valuable here, a SWOT analysis. This transfers strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. So it gives you a quick breakdown. What are the strengths of this company? What's this company's weaknesses? What are the opportunities in the future for this company? And what are the threats in the future with this company? And if you scroll down, it will go into more detail on the strengths. So it just puts it in that bracket up there to give you an idea. Then it goes into greater detail on the strengths and then the weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. How about top competitors? Who are their top competitors? 
and then you might want to to get more information for your report you might want to go back into the EBSCO business profiles and get profiles for some of their competitors too and kind of compare the two company view what's happening here locations and subsidiaries so uh, that's how you do that if you want you could print out this whole thing or you could download it so you don't have to keep coming back to the database to get this and uh, that's that's how you do this now um, one question you might have is how in the world am I going to cite this? This is, looks like kind of a complicated citation. What I would recommend to cite this, <clears throat> if you go back to the library web page, right uh, beneath all the databases, it's a page that says MLA and API citation, citation Assistance. And if you click on that, go here. Most business classes that I've worked with are asking for MLA. So if you go to the MLA cheat sheet, open it up. This is going to be a cheat sheet that lists how to really quickly shows you how to cite all sorts of different sources. And um, I could look through all this, or I could just type in here in the find box the data monitor, because this is a data monitor report. I do that, it takes me right to the how do you cite a data monitor report. And it shows you here how you do this. This data monitor is the author, the company, the title of the company in italics. REP means a report. This is the date the report was published, the one I when I put this together, the database in italics. You got it off the web and the date that you got it. So use that, and then here's one without all these little hints, just kind of shows you how it's done. So use this cheat sheet to help you format this. I that's personally how I would do it. Uh, there you go. We'll close that here. And so that's that's really how that's how you use this. I think it's gonna save you a lot of time. Now something in this database, in this one, it's like I said, it's only going to look up large companies and it's only going to look up parent companies. So even if a large company is owned by another company, they won't have them in here. And I will show you in another presentation on this page. Look for the one on Reference USA and we will figure out how to trace the history of a company to see who owns who. Because sometimes you go in here and you'll find a company that's pretty big, but then uh, you'll. Uh, you'll find that they're not in here and it's because someone else owns them. I'll show you how to trace the history of a company in the Reference USA video. But for now, that should get you going on this database and I will talk to you soon, uh, hopefully or not, depending on what you need. As always, if you have any questions about this or if you have, need any help with any of your research or anything like that, give me a call or email me or stop by the library. Thanks a lot. This is Jeff signing off.